Trump administration. Thank you both so much for joining us. Uh, I'll ask you both this question. Mike, does Hillary not think, and, and Mercedes, that we don't remember that her husband, Bill, accepted that DNC nomination at Madison Square Garden in 1992? So was he a Nazi? Were all of his supporters Nazis? Are the Knicks the Nazis? I mean, I went to a Carrie Underwood concert at MSG. I, I'm certainly not a Nazi, and I don't think Carrie is either. What do you make of Hillary's comment, Mike, and the new Mercedes? Uh, I would say that Hillary Clinton coming out and saying this shows that Kamala Harris is desperate. She knows she's going to lose so long as Trump supporters vote and vote as early as possible. Mercedes, what do you think? Well, I mean, Barbara Streisand also made critical comments of Donald Trump at Madison Square Garden. Look, here's the deal. Hillary Clinton is, when I'm talking about, you know, she's going from calling MAGA supporters deplorable to then calling... Uh, you know, basically inferring that we're bu a bunch of Nazis. It just shows how out of touch and how much the Democrats have lost their way in, in trying to connect to uh, just even like everyday Americans that are just trying to get by under this Harris uh, economy. So, like, seriously, I think Hillary Clinton, she's so desperate because she did lose back in 2016. She was trying to plot her revenge because she probably wants to be a cabinet secretary in Kamala Harris's administration. And she knows that the candidate that she chose when they conducted that coup against Joe Biden is failing. Remember when she got lost in the woods in Chappaqua after she, she, uh, <laughs> that was funny. Uh, Mike, as I mentioned, uh, the Biden-Harris DOJ is suing states like Alabama, uh, Virginia, that are trying to purge their voter rolls uh, of non-citizens. And now a federal judge appointed by Biden, he ordered Virginia to put uh, those people back on the vote. What do you, what do you make of this? Uh, why would we want non-citizens voting in our elections? It is illegal for non-citizens to register to vote for federal elections. It is illegal for them to vote. It is almost always a federal felony on both of those counts. And Virginia has had a law in the books since 2006, signed by then governor and now Senator Tim Kaine, a Democrat, that allows Virginia to get those non-citizens off the rolls. They went to the Obama Justice Department and the Obama Justice Department said that law is legal. Now we fast forward to what, two weeks before the 2024 presidential election when Trump has a pretty decent shot of winning Virginia and now the Biden-Harris Justice Department says this law is somehow unlawful. This is an absurd reading of federal law and the Supreme Court must step in immediately and stop this. It's incredible that this is happening in America, right? I just, it's hard to believe it. Uh, you have the state propaganda machines, the fake news Mercedes. You can tell they're working in concert, right? With the Kamala Harris administration with all of the same words and phrases. And then they have a couple of blips like I showed with the black voters on MSNBC. And then look at this clip on CNN. Take a listen to Mr. Wonderful. This is the second time the Democratic Party has circumvented democracy and chose. That's not true. That's yes, not it is. True. Hillary Clinton. I mean, Hillary true. Clinton yeah. was yeah. chosen, yeah. and she had Bruce Springsteen too. Hold on, hold and what on. happened to her? Hil Hil and now we've chosen. Yeah. Kevin, Hillary Clinton won a primary. Okay, mm -hmm. she won a primary. You may not. Nobody like could compete with her, primary. even Bernie Sanders. What do you think <laughs> about that, Mercedes? It spiraled even further then. It. Uh, it just shows their true colors when you know that they're always defending either Hillary Clinton or Kamala Harris. But look, here's the reality of what's happening with the Kamala Harris campaign right now. They're so focused on trying to win over this never Trump vote by hanging out with Liz Cheney, which obviously is one of the most unpopular politicians, even amongst Republicans. They're, she's not going to bring in any votes instead of honing in on really trying to court the working class voter. Uh, they're missing the ball. I think even Bernie Sanders uh, pointed this out, as well as some of the Democrat strategists that are looking at this flailing Democrat campaign and saying, what is Kamala Harris doing? You cannot put her out to do interviews. She keeps flopping every single time. It's cringy to watch. And actually, if they would have stuck to their original plan of just keeping her not without doing any interviews and just very scripted moments, it might have turned out better for her. But let me tell you, Trump still needs to run as the underdog. 
Uh, okay, early voting looks good, but it doesn't mean that it's guaranteed. This is going to be till the very, very end. And as Mike knows this as well, I mean, when you've got the Secretary of State in Michigan saying, well, we might not have the results for Michigan the night of the election, let me tell you, there's some red flags there, and the Republican Party better be ready. Mike, before I let you go, uh, real quick, uh, Joe Biden, he's losing it, uh, or he's lost it. Uh, he, he basically eulogized uh, Gabby Gifford, right? Uh, she Obviously, we know she had that catastrophic injury. He was praising her, her husband, Arizona senator. Who do you think is running the country? He sees dead people. He shakes hands with people that are not there. He's eulogizing people that are still alive. Mike, who is running this country right now? Here's the problem. Kamala Harris has known for four years that Joe Biden is not mentally fit to lead this country. And not only has she covered that up, she's lied about it. That is disqualifying. It sure is, you would think, right? But she was installed by the oligarchs. Mike Davis, Mercedes Schlapp, thank you both so much for joining us. Thank you, Lydia. Well, President Trump detailing his plans to fix the border crisis in Austin.